It's Monday night at Adafruit headquarters, and that means it's time for even more hardware hacking. Today, I'll be uh, completing this part of my pager hack. So, if you remember last time, we took this Motorola T10 Talk About Pager, and we opened it up, and we found the RF module and the chip, and we found the data sheet so we know what pins are what. Um, so what I did in the meantime is I soldered a wire to the uh, battery saver line that would, um, you know, the pager would turn off the RF module once in a while, and I pulled it high. And I also traced out the data lines, so gray and white are the two uh, FSK data lines, and black is ground. And um, this pager does four FSK, so that's, you know, four symbols per, um, you know, bit transition, basically. And um, I'm, at this moment, we're not going to show how to do uh, four FSK um, interfaces. I mean, it's, it's a little more complicated. But if you're cool with just doing two FSK interface, uh, that's pretty easy. Just um, basically create a common emitter amplifier. I use an NPN transistor here. Any NPN will do. Uh, t data into the base through a 1K resistor. Um, we can get power through the serial port here. Uh, with a simple diode just to protect against negative 12 volts, and then a pull-up. And to get the data out, we'll actually connect to the serial port. Um, now, one thing that's different about this uh, than most serial protocols is it's not 8N1 or 7E1 or, you know, any sort of uh, RS-232-like uh, serial protocol. It's actually uh, 6,400 um, uh, symbols per second. And... Uh, you can't connect it to the RX line, so we actually have to um, bit bang, listen on, uh, I think, the CTS line, you know, 6,400 times a second to read the data protocol. Um, so that's just to make it clear that you can't use a USB to serial converter here. You actually have to use a real raw serial port since it's being bit banged. So this yellow line is the CTS pin um, going in. And, you know, we can probe on this pin we can see that there is, in fact, this data. And this is, uh, you know, about 6-volt um, peak-to-peak, so that looks good. And then the serial port connects to my computer, and on screen I'm running a flex decoder software called PDW. And basically what happens is every few seconds uh, the RF module, even though, you know, the page is not activated, it's still listening to every page that's going over the network, uh, that data goes you know, through this buffer into the serial port and is translated and displayed on the screen. So you're probably wondering what kind of pages can you see? Well, there's actually still a lot of data on the pager network, a lot of um, emergency notifications. Um, actually, there's some sports scores, NBA playoffs and NHL hockey. Um, you see news uh, notifications once in a while, but uh, mostly uh, medical and emergency personnel. So you know, weather warnings or disasters or car crashes or, um, you know, events happening at your local hospital. So uh, even though there's not a lot of personal uh, communication still going on, uh, it's still pretty interesting, and, you know, you can definitely spend a couple hours uh, looking through your pager logs and seeing what's still on the network. So uh, for basically $10, you get a 5 or $10 pager, $1 in parts, and a Windows computer, you can make your own pager um, eavesdropper.